as you take a look at a top cricketer, a man from my own region, take a look at Hashim Amla. I'm sure you would know whom I'm talking about. He's playing quite well today and yesterday, I think. He has an influence over a lot of the globe. And can I tell you, he's made a huge impact across the globe. Not just as a cricketer, as a Muslim. You know that. If you studied his life, and I'm not going to go deep into it, he's a friend of mine. But I want to tell you, he's created an impact. So if I'm sitting from a mimbar, and I'm a sheikh or, an, or someone who's a scholar, and I look and I say, this man is a waste of time, he's wasting his life, he's actually just playing cricket and he's doing this and doing that. I don't know what I'm speaking about. I don't know what the globe is all about. I don't know what da'wah is all about. And I don't know that no matter what field you're in, you can still touch the hearts of people. In your own field, you, you have greater access to a greater number of totally different people than my field. Amazing. And so when I was in Johannesburg airport, perhaps three or four months ago, I met a man with a beautiful beard. And he looked at me and he told me, I like your beard. And I looked at him and I said, I like yours. <laughs> so he was wearing a three quarter, you know, Bermudas and so on. So he told me that, but I'm not a Muslim. I told him, you're not a Muslim. Oh, you've got a lovely beard. I would, I would have never thought you're not a Muslim. He says, I'm an Amla supporter. Now I want to ask you a question. This man loved the beard of a cricket player so much that he actually kept it. He actually kept it. And he says to himself, I'm so proud to be a man who's supporting this guy. Amazing. And I'm thinking, this candle is already semi-lit. By what? By someone who some of the people think, people will never revert to Islam just through watching someone playing cricket. You're mistaken. You are mistaken. Not only are you mistaken, but you don't have any form of experience. May Allah protect us, grant us goodness. So do not underestimate the work of others. What we do today, and now I'm going to press a red button because we have a problem. What is the problem? We think for my candle to glow, I need to blow out the other candles. That's what we think. So for example, this organization is doing good work. That one is doing good work. This sheikh is doing good work. That man is doing good work. This person is doing good work. But I want to do good work. Because it's very hard to do good work. I think that I'll become popular when I say, these guys are corrupt. Those guys are bad. These guys are doing nothing. All these statements are trying to blow out someone else's candle. We spread rumor about others. And we try to undermine the good work they're doing. Just so that we think ours is going to glow. In reality, the chaos that is created as a result is so detrimental and dangerous that we hold the wizard the wizard meaning the sin and the burden of the extinguishing of the candles of so many people i have come across masses in so many countries young boys and girls who will tell you we are totally confused because the, we try to listen to goodness but this sheikh is attacking that one and that one is attacking this one and this one is where are people who are united where are people who are complementing one another so that we can light the candles of as many people as possible without extinguishing even one